You too! What's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys my method on how to do a burst taper, so stay tuned. Alright, YouTube, to start off this burst taper, I'm gonna be using my Andis Slimline Pro LIs, and I'm gonna be making an arrow like design. It's kind of a point, it's like a it's like a burst that comes to a point. Basically, I'm balding out the the middle part into an arrow like shape. I'm using my Andy shavers right now and I'm just balding it out a little bit more just so you can get a real pop effect when uh, you do this first taper. Alright you guys, what I do when I put this first guideline in, uh, using the lever open, I start from the closest to the ear and move my way to the left side. I start from the right side and then I fade up to the left. Next guy line is the one open uh, with the lever down. Basically, in uh, layman's term, you wanna use your corners, all right? When you you don't wanna use the whole full blade. You wanna use every corner that you can use, like the left corner or the right corner. When you're hitting the left side, use the left corner. When you're hitting the right side, use the right corner. Next guideline is the two open. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just blending out, getting a little bulk out from the top. Next guideline, I'm going down to the zero closed. And basically in a flicking motion, I'm using, also I'm using my corners, and I'm just flicking out that middle line. Now, make sure that it's different from 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 putting in your guideline it's always different keep that in your mind that flicking out fading is basically flicking out and uh, blending in it's, it's two different steps last guideline is the lever closed and all you're doing is knocking out that line all right you knock out that peak line first and then you're just going down to the corners and, and getting out that line it's just all about flicking out again you're fading and uh, it's, it's, it's different from putting the guy line in okay. alright I'm gonna do the back of his head speed it up just so you guys can see the process faster but I'm gonna be talking to you guys while I, I speed it up um, basically you guys gotta know your guidelines okay these guidelines have to be imprinted in the back of your mind you can't second guess these guidelines you have to know them you have to memorize them it just has to be in your blood you know what I mean like it, it, it just has to be a part of what you do on a daily basis if you want to perfect something you know what I mean you have to memorize these guidelines and uh, it's real simple guidelines too um, not all the time do you have to focus on these exact guidelines sometimes you have to open and close your lever sometimes you have to you know do different things but these are just the base of, of the guidelines that you need to use to do a great blend these are guidelines that work for me and I'm just trying to show you guys what helped me out you know what I mean so that's what I'm trying to do when I show you guys these guidelines I mean there's plenty other ways you can do it but these are these are the most specific and most close uh, guidelines to use these are basically the basic guidelines when cutting hair basically you guys gotta figure out what's best for you just make sure when when doing that that you stick with it you know what I mean like find different ways to enhance uh, your guidelines like that's all this is this is just 
memory muscle, just rep repetition, and just doing the same thing over and over, trying to perfect your craft. When it comes to the lining process, there's really no way to teach anybody how to line. You basically have to observe somebody lining up their hair and put your own like unique art to the line. Make sure your line is crispy, make sure you're not pushing them too far back. Um, and just, you know, be creative when you're putting the line in. Make sure it's sharp, make sure your, uh, your liners are, are, are hitters, you know what I mean? You can basically figure that out by cutting, you know, your arm hairs and trying to get the, get the small hairs that usually the liners won't get, you know? Sometimes you could have liners that won't get the uh, baby hairs off your neck or something like that, but as long as they you know, you swing them on your, your you could you could grab them by the cord and kind of swing them on your arm. And if, if they take up the hair off with a one swipe, you know what I mean? That's usually when you know that they're hitters. So just just make sure your blades are sharp and and you adjust them correctly. Shout out to Chris Basio. His uh, shaver gel is what I'm using right now. Uh, you can get it at www.tomb45.com. Make sure you follow Chris Basio on Instagram. Follow him on YouTube, Snapchat, all that good stuff, man. He got a nice product. He got a nice shave gel. And uh, I just like to support different barbers because, you know, when you see a barber that's doing his thing, you just got to you gotta show love. It's, it's, it's just automatic. You got to show love. I love what he's doing with his YouTube channel. You know, he has the same passion that I have for for barbering. It just when I watch his videos, it just seems like you know we connect on on on, on the barber aspects of of this uh, YouTube life. So again, man, just shout out to Chris Bossio for hooking me up with this jail.
Alright you guys, this is the finished cut. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a Snapchat. Um, it's uh, GZ360, but you can type in 360GZ or type it in backwards because sometimes people can't, you know, they don't know, you know, what my, my, my Snapchat is. So sometimes if you put it in backwards, like GZ360, you know, it'll pop up. So it's your boy 360GZ. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all the support. I'm at 2,000, 220, 200,000 subscribers right now, and I'm feeling real good. All right, it's your boy 360GZ again, and I'm out of here.